Good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to a zoology circle today. We're going to focus today on the parts of the reptile. We moved on from the amphibians, and now we're going on to reptiles. Most uh, animals from now on are going to have mostly the same parts. But the reptile has a couple special parts, and we're going to go over them. Of course, the head over here. We know that the head is very important for the animal. It's going to have the eyes, the mouth, the brain. It's also the start of the respiratory system and also the um, digestive system, the mouth and the lungs. So we know that the head it has the eyes. The head of the tortoise or the turtle is very special as well. We have the eyes of reptiles. They are very sensitive eyes. They can see lots of things. A lot of um, reptiles have better sight than humans even do. They need to have good sight to help with their hunting, of course. They can see color, they can see light and dark, and they can move their eyes individually so they can follow their prey. It's very important. Then, reptiles have very, very special jaws. They're called horny jaws. At least turtles do. These jaws are very strong. They're pointed on the top and the bottom because reptiles don't, uh, at least turtles, don't have teeth for tearing. They only have a jaw. And the jaw itself does the tearing. Other ones, like the crocodile and the snake, they have fangs and they have teeth, but the turtle doesn't. So he has to have a jaw that is able to tear off pieces of his prey so he can eat that way. Then we have the nostrils of the reptile. Just like on humans, the nostrils are used for smelling and also breathing. On the turtle, it's on the front of its face, so as it has its head out of the water, it can breathe and it can smell. Then we have the ears of the reptile. Now, they don't have ear lobes like mammals do, but they do have openings for ears. They have very good hearing. It helps them hunt. So the ears are just behind the eyes and the side of the head for most of the reptiles. No ear lobes, but they do have good hearing. Then, down here, we have the neck of the reptile. On the turtle, specifically, the neck is very long. It's flexible. It can turn. This is so that it can easily track its prey and see what's going on around it, so it can hunt very well and defend itself very well. So the neck on all reptiles is very important. It can move, allowing the turtle to see around itself. Next we have the carapace. This is just specific to a turtle or a tortoise. This is the shell on the back. Now this shell grows up with the turtle. It doesn't detach. It doesn't find a new shell like a crab does. The turtle has to have its own shell for its whole life, and it grows. The shell grows with the turtle. That's part of it. It's very hard. It's very thick. And that's the part we famous for a turtle. And then the underside of a turtle, the bottom of the shell, is called the plastron. Plastron is another part of the shell, and it's where the openings for the arms and legs and neck are. That's where it can contract its body into the shell. The plastron is the underside of it. Then we have the legs of the reptile. The legs are very long. They can extend out of the shell. They can retract back into the shell. They are uh, jointed, so they can bend, allowing it to pull itself forward or swim very, very, um, very well. And the claws of the reptile. These are important for hunting, but also for grabbing and being able to um, get, um, to be able to put itself forward and swim better. Now. Tortoises on land will have claws, but the turtles that swim in the ocean, sea turtles, they would have fins instead of claws. So different type of reptiles have different type of appendages on the end of their arms and legs. Then finally we have the tail. Now the tail for the turtle, it doesn't have much of a purpose. It's because most of the tails for reptiles are left over from when they used to be amphibians. You can kind of see the evolution of the animal. The tail was usually used for uh, swimming. But for the turtle, it doesn't really need the tail. So the tail is a small part. It's still there. It doesn't have much purpose for the animal that is on the land anymore. But that's just for the turtle. For other animals, like the crocodile or the alligator, you can see it has a lot of the same parts. It's got arms and legs. It has a head and eyes and nostrils. But this one actually does have teeth in its jaws. It does have claws. And it does have a large tail that helps it balance. And it doesn't have a carapace or a shell, but it does have very, very thick skin. So it's similar in that way. 
Same with the snake. It's very different. He doesn't have arms and legs like the other reptiles do, but the parts of its body do the same job. Its whole body is the arms and legs it moves it around. It does have the head, of course, with the eyes and the nostrils and the ears, but it's got the fangs inside its mouth, and it's got the tail, which is actually a part of its uh, large body that really does help it move around. So the tail's still important to the snake. And to do a quick review, here is Speed, the turtle from Classroom 2. You can see all the parts that we recognize. We've got the head sticking out with the eyes and the nostrils, those little holes on the very front of its face. It doesn't have its mouth open right now, but we can see it's got two pointed jaws where it can grab and tear at food. And you can see his arms and legs are retracted into the plastron. Remember that? The bottom part of the shell. We can see here's the top of the shell, the carapace, very dark, very thick. And here is the bottom part of the shell. You can see it's a different color. But same part of the shell, you can see it attaches right here. And here are the holes for the legs and arms. And it's got a little tail in the back, but even the tail is retracted back into the shell. And turtles might not be very fast, but when they want to get away, they, they can move pretty quick. <laughs> so we can put them down here. You can actually see them moving around. Also, just today, we found a little lizard running around our school. A lizard is another type of reptile. We can see in there a tail, little claws to help it climb on things. It's got the head, the eyes, and the nostrils. It's got no shell, but its skin is very thick. So all of these parts are typical for reptiles. All right. So, your work, you can go online, find some research about the different types of reptiles you want to do some research on. Snakes, or turtles, or lizards, or iguanas, or different types of things. Whatever animal you choose, make a drawing of it, or get a picture of it, and label all the parts that you can find on it. Okay? And then do some writing about each part. Where is it located, and what's, what job does that part do? That's the important part. But there you go. That's your parts of the reptile lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> See you next time.